Alrighty, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Love Lock. In the previous episode, we fought the fifth gym leader, aka Dad, aka Daddy, aka Norman. I don't remember what his actual name was. Can't Marshall. Remember. Marshall. Uh, and we didn't have that hard of a time, and uh, I said I would uh, go off screen and go and get all of our encounters off screen, uh, first encounters and everything. Uh, and we actually got some pretty good backup pairs, I would say. Uh, Jenna actually hasn't, like she saw a couple of them, but she didn't get to see all of them. But um, the first thing that we caught was uh, this Verizion, uh, which I'm very surprised. First of all, I'm very surprised that I ran into this. Second of all, I'm surprised I caught this thing because I wasn't able to put a status infliction on it due to it having Volt Absorb. So, really, really, really excited that uh, we managed to get one of these. Uh, really, really strong. Um, not really okay with the nature, but I mean, maybe Modest can work on Verizion. I don't know. I'm not really the biggest, like... I don't want to say biggest fan. I'm not the most knowledgeable on Verizion, but the fact that we caught a legendary like this, really fucking cool. And it's paired up with something good too, which is Zazu, the Arkin. Uh, as long as it evolves into Archeops and doesn't have Defeatus, Truant, whatever bad abilities it could possibly get, uh, this thing could be a menace. Like our team, this would be a good pair to throw on if we lose any of the pairs that we have now, really, because it can get slapped onto the team uh, pretty easily. Then we have Grim Shady, our Ghastly. Uh, this was found, I think, outside of the Sea Mallville. It was either found outside of Sea Mallville or it was in the Sea Mallville where we found. Uh, ghastly here, but we all know how good Gengar is and the fact that it has a Mega in this game It gives it a lot of promise uh, If and when we find the Mega Stone And it's paired up with Blair the Vespiquen. Vespiquen as we know is a really really good mon all around uh, Except for speed, but that doesn't really Doesn't really matter because like Vespiquen's got the defenses and the attack to make up for it. And then the last encounter that we caught, well, we didn't catch this. Uh, we found a plume fossil on our adventures, which we went to uncover and it uncovered a mega Blaziken. So super duper nice. Um, I unfortunately didn't get anything to pair with this thing because I went down to New Mauville to get an encounter and uh, I got a horde encounter, but I unfortunately didn't catch anything from it because I accidentally knocked everything out. I could have either had this paired with like a Mega Mewtwo or I wanted an Excadrill for variety's sake, but the Excadrill couldn't take a hit. So kind of sucks that we weren't able to get it, but hey, it's whatever. And also our team is juiced the fuck up. Like, um, we found a Lucky Egg off screen. So Cindy got a stupid amount of levels. I'm gonna try to lead with her for most of the video so we can get her leveled up even further. Um, Takeoff is up to level 40 now. Um, we know what his mega ability is and it's color change, which is not great at all. So we're probably not gonna end up using Latios in a mega format unless like uh, we need to hit something on the special side maybe, I don't know. Um, but otherwise, yeah, our team is just, it's pretty much the same. Uh, Barry learned Destiny Bond. I think that might be the only change. Outside of maybe Chuck Bass learning Sky Uppercut. I don't think he learned Sky Uppercut in the previous video. Uh, but I think those are all of the changes that we have to our team as of right now. So I think it's fair to say that despite what happened with the Swampert a few episodes back, our team is still really good. We got a huge power Latios. Like that's 
insanely good. And then. Well, we caught we caught the one swamper, but the other swamper was a fossil. So we didn't have control over the swamper that was a fossil, but we did the one that we caught. The one that we caught is the one that died. Okay, I didn't realize that the swamper was the one that died. But yeah, we're gonna make our way to the east now and towards the Weather Institute, uh, which we get a static encounter, a static cast form after doing the. Uh, Weather Institute, so that would be a pretty huge. That could be a huge grab, uh, depending on whatever it is. So uh, it's gotta be. It's tough because it's gotta be paired with Blaziken. What the hell? Okay. I don't know why the game is lagging so bad, but man has a. This double battle is a Charmeleon and a Charizard. Interesting. A mama and a baby. It's just not a mom. They're both men. They are both a male. Daddy and a baby. Now he's an orphan. Wow. <laughs> he didn't die. He fainted. Come on now. I think he could have been an orphan. Wow, I'm surprised that Charmeleon lived. He has to be strong now for his papa. I mean... It's not gonna change much, but... You know, I'm surprised he lived on 1 HP. I mean, he is a level higher than Cindy, so... It happens. Wait, I just realized the experience share is still on, isn't it? Unless you turn it off. No, I, it's still on. Dude, so I'm trying to think. Um, for Winona, that's the next gym leader. I think her ace is normally 35. So with a 20% level booster, that's gonna get bumped to. Forty-two. So we're still over leveled. God, I'm surprised we're still this over leveled. But it happens. What the? F no, I remember when like the randomizers first started, you know, with horde encounters, and there would be five different Pokemon. I swear to God, all of my horde encounters, except for honestly the one that I ran into in. The new Mauville are pretty much the same Pokemon. Like when we ran into the route up north to get Cindy, it was like four Ursa Rings and then Omanyte. Like, what? Alright, Corsola. I don't really have much to hit Corsola. I mean, we have Razor Shell, but that's still not. It's not super effective. It's not stab. Lucky chant. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Or whatever. I don't know. I mean, that did a decent amount of damage. Can't can't complain about that. All right, you can stop hitting me with rock blast now. Cindy doesn't play these games. I don't even. Th I didn't turn the experience share off again. I think I forgot to do that. What am I? What am I doing? Shaking my damn head. All right, Drapion. I don't think we're gonna one shot this thing at plus one, but ooh, he still outspeeds me. Despite me being plus one speed with Dragon Dance. Damn, I almost did one shot him. I can get him, right? 
Fennel shock? Oh no. Okay, we're good. Jesus Christ. That was risky. That could have been bad. If I wasn't more careful. Alright. Turning the experience share off. I'm doing that right now because I am not gonna forget again. Over here, I'm gonna heal you up. Do we have Yes we do. I'm gonna make sure we have berries to heal up the poison, because I wanna deal with that. Oh, don't save the game. Do I have... I have one max repel. I gotta make it count. What's this? Okay, we got an Absolite. That's... That's... That's cool. I mean, we do have the Mega Ring, so, like, any Mons that we get Mega Evolutions for... Could be huge. All right, Makuhita. I feel like I should be scared of this thing, but I also don't feel like I should be. I find it crazy that we have a TM for Dragon Dance, and most everybody can learn Dragon Dance. Like, that's that's insane to think about. All right, man's just belly drums. You don't outspeed me, kiddo. Sorry. Shedinja? Oh, that's great. I'm just so glad that you decided to send this thing out when I set up a dragon dance. The Shedinja stands no chance. Dead. Dead! Alright. Check out over this way. I don't think we can encounter anything yet over here. I think we have to wait a little bit before we can... Just trying to get the item first, but yeah! I'll fight you, Ch Chief Landon, with your clef key. I'll do that. Um, excuse me? Why are you level 44? Why is it keeping a Pokemon? I am... Yeah, I shouldn't be too worried about this thing. I don't think it has anything too scary to kill me, but... The fact that this thing is level 44, I don't like that. Not, not in the slightest. Not in the slightest do I like the fact that you are level 44. Alright. We got a Dawn Stone. It's not the stone we're looking for, though. Well, we're still on the hunt for the shiny stone. Is there any any hidden items around here somewhere? No? I think you give us a TM, right? Ooh. That's actually really good. Because that's the TM for Dazzling Gleam, so pretty much any fairy type we get can learn Flamethrower. So that means if or when we put Munchie back on the team, instead of having to try and pop things with Inferno... Oh, God. Instead of trying to pop things with Inferno, we can attack it with Flamethrower instead. All right, um... This is not this is not the situation I wanted to find myself in. Um I know I can one-shot the Machamp. That much I do know. 
My problem is, I don't know what the Salamence knows. And with him being a Mega, that's terrifying. Uh, I want to switch out Cindy because I don't want to get popped by this Machamp on the off chance that Takeoff misses. But I'm trying to think of who I go into. I think Chuck Bass has got to be who we go into. Do I D do I D dance? No, I feel like I just kill. I just kill the Machamp. Get one side of the field gone and then focus on what happens next. Cause this should one shot. Because of us being huge power. Oh my god. He has Dragon Claw. Oh no. Yikes. I did not think he would have Dragon Claw at this level. That fucking blows. Um, we have to send in Cindy now. Um, I feel like this thing just kills, I feel like this thing just kills Cindy outright, too. I mean, maybe it might not one-shot me with Dragon Claw, but I feel like it's going to become, it's going to get really close. I went for Chuck Bass. You're, you're stupid. That does nothing. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're fine. Oh my god. I can't believe I just lost the Latios like that, though. That's unfortunate. I mean, this means Cindy can partner up with the Blaziken, but... I don't want the Blaziken on the team if we have Toasty. That's, that's fucking crazy. It's absolutely insane. Feels fucking, feels sad, honestly. Feels sad. All right, my repel just wore off. I'm just going to try to push to the Weather Institute and save these other trainers for later. I, I tried. <laughs> I only got halfway through the tall grass. Yo, what is going on? What level is this thing? 38? Okay. I mean, that's not... It's not too bad. I am surprised he lived that. I am surprised that he lived that. I have no words for how I feel other than I'm just upset. <laughs> that Latios would have been... That Latios was probably the most broken thing we had on the team and it lasted. Not even an entire 
Not even an entire episode did it last on our team. Sludge Bomb on Star Raptor. I'm just... I'm surprised that it's not... I'm not one-shotting things. I mean... It's not super effective, but I'm just saying, like, it's Stab, and I'm 10 levels higher. Like, that should be killing a Star Raptor, I would assume, but... Well, what do I know, apparently? Q couple Kim and Zo. Yep. I see it. Sneak past everybody. I think this is the last person we might have to battle. I'm not taking it. Well. I don't think Deli Bird... Deli Bird doesn't get anything other than present. I don't think he gets anything other than present anyways. I'm still gonna heal. Just in case I get hit with like an ice shard or something. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Because I should one-shot him, right? Oh, he has iron barbs. I mean, that's... Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, it's alright. Ekans. I don't even know who we should replace that pair with now. Because Ice and Psychic is still our biggest weakness. So, I almost want to say the Yamask and the Polyrath, but they are... They aren't close in terms of, like, being leveled up, so is it going to even matter if I add them right now or not? I don't know. Mian food. Okay, I'm just gonna acrobatics this thing. Yeah, that's what you get for trying to pick a fight with me. You know, just don't do it. I'm Patty. No one picks a fight with Patty. Alright, let's take a look at our PC box real quick. But that's oh, that's gonna eat me alive forever. All right, I'm gonna take off this lucky egg from you. All right, so let's let's take a look here. We could add which pairs? We could add the. Snow Run and Giraffe Rig. We could do Sweetie and Snoop. Munchie and Tyson. Cleopatra and Louie. Verizon Wireless and Zazu. We can't add these two because of the bug type of Eridos. Or we could put the Blaziken and the Ursaring. I don't know what level your mask evolves at. I can't remember. Hmm. 
I almost want to go with Munchie and Tyson and then change uh, Toasty's form to something that isn't fire type. I don't know how much of a good idea that is, though. I'm gonna go with that right now. Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and teach Munchie here Flamethrower because it's so much better than Inferno in the sense of it's 10 less base power, but it's 100% accuracy. So why would I not go for it? Although now that means I don't need the wide lens. So I don't know. Just, oh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna try to sneak around most of these guys, but I guess we won't be doing that. Share them. I mean, we're leading off with Chuck Bass, so. So we should be fine. I'd assume we'd be fine, anyways. Oh, I just realized we're gonna have to do a team of six fight, aren't we, up here? I did not want to sit in that chair. Damn, she just slapped the shit out of that man. That's crazy. Violence in a kid's game? Is that allowed? Swirlix. Alright, I'm gonna just send you somewhere else. <laughs> And then a Gabite. You know, the more Pokemon we keep running into that are four times weak to ice, it's really making me want to just throw Ice Fang back on Chuck Bass here. As much as Razor Shell is a good move. Because if I had Ice Fang for that Salamence, I think I would have probably been able to keep Latios around, but... I don't know. It's a bunch of what-ifs. It's a bunch of what-ifs. Alright. Technician Lawrence has Landorus. Level 39. I might just set up and sweep her, to be honest. Landorus can't really do anything to me. That's extra sensory, I mean... Yeah, that does nothing. I might set up two Dragon Dances and then just go crazy. Because now I should be able to outspeed pretty much anything. I should be able to almost kill anything. Seismitoad. I mean, this is risky, but I am plus two. I think we'll be fine. Effects. Of course! Of course, effects for. Effect spore pops, and. Now I'm asleep. Oh, and either hand's coming in? Please. Oh, I just realized too. I set things to be fully evolved by level 40, so that means 
We're going to be running into nothing but big boys between pretty much now and the rest of the game. So now we might start losing stuff a little bit more frequently. Or there's a chance, I should say. Aerodactyl? Mega? It is. Too bad. I'm faster and I have plus two attack, so get out. Conkelder. I'd be more afraid if you actually had Ice Punch, but you don't. So, get out. Flame Bomb. Stop! <laughs> He's dead. It doesn't matter if his Flame Body goes off on me. And I synchronize it. He's dead. Doesn't do anything. Murkrow? I'm sending someone else out for Murkrow. Oh, I just realized, too, because we lost a lot of those. That means whatever we get for this cast form isn't going to be paired with anything right now. So wait. The last thing I named was Blaziken, so that means Jenna gets the nickname whatever cast form. The cast form static turns out to be. I hope it's something some somewhat strong. Doesn't have to be anything completely broken. I just want something somewhat strong. Bro, we are literally in the future where we can put stuff in PC boxes. And you you can't possibly give me cast form static because I have too many Pokemon in my party? I've revived fossils and they go straight to my PC. How does that make sense? I'm gonna sleep in the bed. Because that's what you do. You sleep in the random ass bed in a random ass building you've never been in before. Alright. Just put Tyson over here for right now. Let's go ahead and see what our cast form static is, and that's going to be the end of the video. And it turns out to be... A Mighty Yenna. Hmm. I mean, it has potential, depending on what its ability is, but I'm not really too sure if I'm happy about that or not. So, female Mighty Anna name, Jenna's nickname, what is it gonna be? Um, hold on. I think it's gonna be what, level 36, I think? Something, something like that. Clover. Clover? Yeah. Do you need to know why? Do I need to know why? No. Do you want to explain you why? Need to know why? <laughs> Do you need to explain why? Because my is. Her black and white like skunks, and the skunk from Bambi's name is Clover. But this is a, a hyena, it's not a skunk. It's black and white like a skunk. It, it's, it's a dog, it's a hyena. I know, but I didn't want to give it a whole hyena name. Anyways... That's gonna wrap up this video here. Next episode, we're probably taking on the gym. So, that's terrifying to think about. Um, so, yeah, we'll be taking on, we're more than likely taking on Winona in the next episode. Um, there's gonna be a few battles that we gotta do. 
Um, we got a rival battle, and then there's a couple of encounters that we can also get um, as well. So should be should be a pretty entertaining episode. Um, hopefully we don't lose anybody, you know, like I fucking did today. Um, Jenna, do you want to add anything before we sign off? Nope. Comment down below if you miss Jenna's little random <laughs> tidbits of advice. I plays. Okay, but sometimes it's what makes the videos unique. When you always say no, it just feels like you hate me. Uh, that's mean. I see that. No, it's mean that I get that vibe. Adopt your pets, don't buy them. And make sure you stay in your room. You've already said those things. Any I didn't say the adoption part. Anyways, we're gonna get out of here. Peace. Bye bye. Like, subscribe, comment, Bye. follow Twitter, TikTok. You know the deal. <laughs> <laughs>